Hi guys, and welcome to Heathrow Terminal 2. Today, I'm going to be trying out JetBlue's Transatlantic Mint product. Now, not just the suite, but the studio. JetBlue's been making waves recently in Europe, and that's because they've just announced their route from Paris, and there's another one potentially on the horizon too. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Follow me. The airline utilizes Terminal 2 at Heathrow, home to the Star Alliance carriers Aer Lingus and since 2021 JetBlue. With just a handful of passengers on this smaller A321 aircraft, there's no real need for a big check-in area and just two staff catered for the 100 or so passengers on today's flight. Mint, the airline's business class, gets access to Fast Track, which today wasn't so fast, but a welcome benefit nonetheless. Now, the only snag is that JetBlue currently doesn't offer lounge access, but those with an Amex can slip into the Plaza Premium Lounge pretty easily. That lounge offers a decent breakfast buffet and drinks, although any bubbles are chargeable. A little detective work on JetBlue's career site showed that there might be some lounges for this transatlantic product in the not too distant future. Stay tuned. One of the benefits of operating a narrow body is that it can utilize T2's A-gates, meaning no lengthy walk to the wide bodies on the satellite building. So far, so good. I was able to board the aircraft before everyone else to take some footage of the interior. I really wasn't expecting to be blown away as much as I was. Meet the studio. This will be my seat, but first let me give you a tour of what is quite an exclusive transatlantic gem that will give JetBlue's competitors a real run for their money. There are just 22 mint suites with all access, sways of space, privacy thanks to the suite doors. Unlike Virgin, these seats recline into a fully flat bed, meaning no fuss in getting to sleep. Behind the business class cabin is what JetBlue calls core, and I call economy, or coach, depending which side of the Atlantic you dip your toes in. As well as spacious bins, thank you airspace cabin, the seats themselves are super spacious and comfortable, even in the very back. Although the more space seats, highlighted in orange at the front, are certainly worth the extra little splurge. At the back and the front are four toilets, two for economy and two for mint, although because there was no curtain to separate the cabins, the front toilets were used by economy passengers too. What is great is that in core, you're also able to select your meal from a variety of options on boarding from the IFE screen. It's a build your own meal product. Now let's head back to Mint, where there are design flourishes aplenty, just like in the toilets, where there's a nod to the New York subway tiling. For her tour of the seat, let me hand you over to Charity, who I desperately want to be my best friend, serving equal parts sass and polish. My name's Charity, up front with me today is Jake and Margo, and we're going to be the ones taking care of you in the Mint experience. Have you flown with us before? No, first time. No, first time. Would you like me to give you a quick tour of your seat? Love to. Okay. Let me stop this right here. So, you do have a fully lie flat seat today. Your, those functions are going to be located right here. Um, this is the most important button, that is our do not disturb button. If you decide that you do not want us to take care of you today, you push that button, it'll light this blue, and we'll leave you alone, okay? Okay. okay. This is our tuft to needle set. It is a pillow and a blanket. Give it a zip, it's going to have the pillow and the blanket right inside, okay? Perfect. Your snooze kit is also done by tuft to needle as well as your seat design today. You've got earplugs in there, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that stuff. Today your menu is Charlie Bird. Charlie Bird is a little boutique restaurant that partners with us today. You get to pick three of the five items on here. Um, you will do that on your seat back ordering right here on the screen. Perfect. You have the luxury of one of our double suites today. So in here is a little closet for you. If you open it up, you do have your slippers as well. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. And you can store whatever you need in there as well. Our master of dynamic noise isolating headsets today are going to be specially designed for a mint experience. Um, we do have to collect these at the end of the flight. Sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they will plug in right here. Cool. So you'll charge your port. 
Um, Wonderful is going to be your amenity kit today. Everything in there is for yours to keep. Amazing. We have for you today, for our pre-departure, we have sparkling wine, and we also have sparkling cider, and then a wine with elder, or sparkling wine with elderflower, if you'd like. One I will go for sparkling wine. Sparkling Thank wine? you very elderflower much. Elderflower, no. Uh, just plain, plain, regular. Plain, you got it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Enjoy. Not sure how I can top that, but here it goes. There's a tuft of needle memory foam built into the seat, making it extra comfy and designed for sleep. The studio has extra storage and a built-in wireless charging pad. There's plenty of storage, both in a drawer under the TV and in the studio's mini vanity closet. Gotta love the concrete effect lighting, as well as the extra buddy seat complete with cushion. Like the suites, there is a side table making for loads of space, and there's North America's largest TV screen at 22 inches in business class. There are two dining tables in the studio, perfect to share with a buddy, and there's also a sliding door for additional privacy. Now, while Charity heads off to charm the rest of the passengers, let's take a look at the menu. If the menu wasn't enough to keep you amused, there's heaps of amenities from eye masks to face mists and even collagen sachets. Guess I get the message here. The bedding is excellent and the memory foam pillow is perfect to sleep on, reminding me a little bit of the NASA pillow found on Air New Zealand's business premiere. Unique to the studios, and sadly not in the suites, are pyjamas, which are nice and snug, and there's even those high quality Master and Dynamic headphones that sadly I couldn't pocket. After selecting my food on the screen and the sparkling wine, by the way, go for the one with the elderflower, it was time to bush back from a rainy London and make our way across the pond.
After takeoff, our pre-lunch cocktails were delivered with a little bit of flair that we weren't really expecting. Gotta love those cocktail shakers. The signature cocktail mint condition is a must try. After just 30 minutes, lunch was served, which I enjoyed with another of our team thanks to the comfortable buddy seats available in the studio. I cannot simply describe how amazing, how flavoursome this meal was. By far, it's one of the best I've had across the Atlantic in years. Bravo, JetBlue. Bravo. As for the dessert, the vanilla gelato hit the right spot. Hi guys and welcome aboard JetBlue Mint Studio. Now this is available on the A321LR, currently operating between the East Coast and Europe and you might also find it on some of the Transcons as well. So JetBlue has also just announced some really exciting news as well as flying from London Heathrow and Gatwick to Boston in New York. They've also just announced their flights from Paris and even more recently flights from Amsterdam as well. So they're really expanding their footprint in Europe, giving more opportunity to be able to fly this mint product wherever you are flying from. Mint is really competitively priced, which actually puts the likes of Virgin, Delta and American and United on the back foot because this airline means business. So now let's talk about the studio. Now the studio is the front two seats of the Mint cabin. With that comes amenities such as pajamas and slippers. But the great addition of this is the additional space that you get. Yes, you get a 22 inch high def TV screen, which is actually the largest in North American carriers flying across the Atlantic in business class. But you also get an extra buddy dining seat so you can pull out a table and you can dine or have drinks or cocktails or even play a game of Uno with your friends, but you also get to stretch out on those most important overnight red-eye flights. So you have full space to be able to stretch out, relax and get a good night's sleep. Now the design of the cabin is very unique. They're the first to bring the Thompson Vantage solo seats to the skies. Yes, they're herringbone seats, but they do come with privacy thanks to the door partitions, although it's a nod to privacy rather than full privacy. But the thing that really gets us is the attention to detail in the design of the seats. From the faux concrete lighting to the tuft and needle memory foam seats, everything has been designed with passenger comfort in mind. JetBlue are really onto a winner because they have managed to secure a very niche product across the transatlantic. They're only operating narrow body flights, which means that the business class cabin will only ever reach 24 seats. That's less than half that of some of their competitors. This means that the passenger experience and the service that you get on board is really bespoke and everyone is greeted by name the whole way through the flight. So I've just completed the meal service. I have a cocktail in hand. I'm going to enjoy the IFE, the free Wi-Fi, and some of the box sets that they have available to stream. And I'm looking forward to trying out their afternoon tea service just before we land as well. Now, I want to thank you very much for following yet another trip report. I hope you do subscribe. And uh, please do let me know if you've flown JetBlue uh, Transatlantic on the Mint product and how it was for you. Safe flying. Mid-flight there was a snack basket and after setting up the bed for a tiny bit of rest, a vegan chocolate ice cream was also served.
Just about two hours before landing, an afternoon tea was served. Again, one of those ones that you could select two of three dishes, tapas style. The salad was amazing. This is no limp leaf afterthought. And they also have an espresso machine on board, perfect to keep me going through the jet lag on arrival. As the flight came to a close, a little goodie bag was delivered, along with a handwritten note from the crew. And I wasn't just going to leave this flight with a carry-on full of goodies, I was going to leave it with very fond memories and delight that JetBlue is flying transatlantic. As after all, this upstart carrier is going to keep its competition on its toes, and that means a better flying experience for everyone, but especially on JetBlue.